from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. It's the Cube, covering VTUG Winter Warmer 2018, presented by Silicon Angle. Hi, I'm Stu Miniman, and we're here at the VTUG Winter Warmer 2018. Have with me Chris Harney, who's the uh, founder yes. and <laughs> president, VTUG. Great to see you, Chris. Great to see you. So, uh, 12th annual uh, one of this event. Uh, it's gone through a couple of name changes. It's actually the fifth year we've been doing it. I'd been coming for a few years before that, but for just for our audience that doesn't know, uh, explain kind of the, the, the why of the VTUG, you know, and, and what's, what's changed, you know, over the years. So, so VTUG was originally and still founded on the principle that we can get smarter together. You know, if everyone learns a little piece and teaches everyone, because back when this started, there was no YouTube, there was no Google. You had to learn it on your own. Uh, and, and, and you know, we started out learning how to virtualize machines. We learned how vMotion worked. Well now you're talking serverless applications. You're talking cloud or cloud native. You talk, is stuff going to the cloud? Is it staying on-prem? How do you automate? And it's changing, I mean, Moore's law has gone out the window. You know, change is happening in weeks rather than years. Yeah, and, and Chris, I always love this. It's one of our first events of the year, the, the last few years. It's a user group. It's good grounding for me uh, to really understand, you know, the typical people in IT. What do they care about? What are they struggling, uh, you know, in, in, in what's going on in their world? So, you know, let, let, you're going to bring us some of the users that we have on here, but from your standpoint, you know, what are you seeing? Uh, you know, what are you hearing? Yeah, so I'm hearing that users are struggling. You know, the the old adage, 80% of their job is maintaining systems and 20% is upgrades, yet 20% of the budget is spent on upgrades and 80, so that the numbers are skewed, so they're having trouble keeping up with technology. Yeah, um, it, you, you threw out some things. You talk about you know serverless uh, type <laughs> applications. Uh, you had keynotes this morning. We had Microsoft. You had Amazon. Uh, you had some developer uh, tracks going on, looking at you know orchestration, uh, and you had uh, some stalwarts in the uh, in the in the industry, uh, you know, talking about you know what what's happening from from an IT uh, standpoint. Where are, is kind of the, the, it, there is no typical, but you know when when you look at the range of people that are here, um, you know, are they still oh, I'm doing my virtualization rollout? Are they, you know, where are they in the cloud journey? Have they heard about things like Kubernetes and serverless yet? So this audience may have heard of Kubernetes. Very few people are implementing it. I still think, you know, we matured 10 years ago and we haven't kind of made that next leap yet. So people are still, they've got VMware, they've got, uh, they're looking at NSX, uh, and they're running on, what's the next hardware platform? You know, Hyperconverged is still a big deal. Yeah, uh, and hyperconverge is a big deal. I mean, we've been watching it for many days. Uh, as I said, this is a good grounding for us because, right, it's like, oh, well, I was at AWS reInvent, I was at KubeCon, <laughs> um, and you talk about all this stuff where, you know, the future's going, but, you know, what, what, what's happening today is, is super yes. important. Um, I, I like you, you talked about some of the dynamics about, like, how they spend budget. You know, we talk a lot today about, you know, it's got to be a switch from CapEx to OpEx and right. consumption, and, you know, that, that's changing a lot people's roles. So training, education, oh God, yes. so super important. Um, what are they getting coming to an event like this and what are the resources are you seeing that's in, that are important today? So at this event, I think there's a lot of validation. You know, we, we get inundated with marketing. Go to the cloud, go to the cloud. And all of these users are coming together. Hey, what are you doing for cloud? And they're realizing that everyone is pretty much in the same boat together. You know, so, so that's one thing. They get networking, um, they share their problems and what the fixes are, and then the vendors they bring their A game. They really do some great training sessions. So, you know, we've got 20 different training sessions going on upstairs, and the users will go up there and they'll be able to talk one-on-one -on -one with real engineers who are doing this stuff. Yeah, so Chris, you, you and I are both big Patriots fans. We've got, <laughs> you know, Teddy Bruschi uh, yes. behind us here. Um, the Patriots are actually on the practice field right now, getting ready for yet another Super Bowl. This, um, uh, how many, eight and 16 years? So, yeah, it, it, it's amazing. Uh, hopefully bringing ring number six home. Um, I, I think we're good luck here with theCUBE. Every time we've done your event, the Patriots have still been in the hunt. Uh, awesome. So, you know, we got to keep that going. But, you know, you look at the Patriots and say they've done so well. You know, other than Belichick and Brady, it's been a lot of change. You know, you're going to have, Absolutely. you know, the Patriots alumni is coming, and I'm hoping we'll talk to like Logan Mankins and be like, you know, the game, it's seen, the people change, you know, the strategies change, but, you know, how do you keep that winning formula? And it's a lot of it's the same in IT. I mean, so much tech has Absolutely. changed, you know, in 12 years. Um, what, what, what's the same and, you know, what, what's different from your viewpoint? 
still the same, you know, we all have end users. Yeah. We want applications delivered without, without hesitation or without issues. Um, so that's, that'll always be the same. What's changed is how do we deliver that? Yeah. You know, we used to put a server in one application and then we had SANS, <laughs> you know, so we could put the SANS in, and have smaller servers to virtualization to automation. Um, you know, people are still looking at clones and, and, and making that automation happen faster. Uh, but I think security is starting to take a forefront to that. You know, we're seeing lots of the intel, uh, some viruses and some weaknesses. So uh, I think a lot more people are spending more time remediating possible issues and less time building new stuff. Yeah, uh, great points there. I mean, I'm an infrastructure guy by background, and right, you talked. We went from a server to we went to a VM, and even we talk about things like containers and then functions. Uh, it's that delivery of how do I deliver my applications? Right. How do I build and modernize uh, applications? You know, the term you know cloud native gets thrown out a lot. Right. Uh, you know, developers you know are involved here, uh, and. You know, it, it still matters some of those underneath pieces. Even something like serverless, eventually somebody is responsible that uh, for for that infrastructure. It's just uh, you know we looked at the, on, the, on our Wikibon research looked at uh, you know we see a big shift going to platforms, whether that be a public cloud or even something like hyperconverge. Right. There's less that I need to be worried about building and playing with those geek knobs, and more uh, software is going to allow me to handle that as data grows, as scale happens. Right. I can't have people you know in there have having to worry about some of those pieces, you know, machine learning needs to help, you know, the, 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 the software itself needs to do it. And that, that's a shift, it's, it's challenging for people to kind of embrace that change, understand where they add value and where they need to go. And it's events like this uh, that I think help people, uh, you know, make, understand where they need to make those transition points and where they can keep adding value. I, you're spot on there, and I think people, just to your point, they need to learn that the more things they can affect, the more positive influence they can have on the company, and the, long, the longer they'll be there, the longer they'll want them there. If you're just affecting one thing, you don't have as much value. If you're affecting a thousand things, there's a lot more value to you. All right, well Chris, once again, it's a pleasure having uh, you on the program. We really appreciate it that we could come, you know, help share the user activity with, with our community. So, thanks so much, and uh, you know, wishing the Pats good luck. Absolutely, do you have uh, a prediction on the score? Uh, Hate to do predictions when we're going to be there. Uh, you know, I, I'm confident that the Patriots do well. If history has shown us anything, it's usually a close game. Absolutely. Um, you know, so uh, you know, I, I've seen a couple of Eagles fans here, but a lot of Patriots colors. So uh, thanks so much, and uh, we're going to be back with lots more coverage here from the VTUG Winter Warmer 2018. I'm Stu Miniman, and you're watching the Cube.